With the world's population growing rapidly, reaching up to 9.7 billion people, by 2050 the need for food is escalating. Sadly, our ability to produce food is struggling to keep up. Over the past four decades, we've lost a significant portion of our cropland due to erosion and pollution, while climate change is making traditional farming harder. But there's hope on the horizon, vertical farming. This innovative approach to agriculture allows us to grow food indoors and potentially increase our food supply. In this video, we will learn more about this method. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Let's get started. Vertical farming. Vertical farming is a way of growing food indoors on surfaces that go up and down, not sideways like in regular farms. It's like building tall apartment buildings instead of spreading houses across the land. These farms can be in different places like shipping containers, tall buildings, warehouses, and special greenhouses. They use spaces that aren't usually used for farming. The main crops grown in vertical farms are leafy greens, like lettuce, chard, kale, and cabbage. About 57% of indoor farms grow these greens. They are popular because they're in demand, grow quickly, and are easy to cultivate. Other crops grown in vertical farms include herbs, tiny greens called microgreens, and soft fruits like strawberries. What's special about vertical farming is that it allows precise control over growing conditions. Farmers use technology to manage things like temperature, humidity, and light. But it's not easy. If these conditions aren't right, the crops won't grow well. That's why modern tools like artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things are used to keep everything just right. Smart Farming with AI and IoT Smart farming employs modern information and communication technologies to boost crop production in terms of both quantity and quality. It's also about making farming processes more efficient by reducing the amount of human labor required. Technologies such as IoT, AI, robotics, and drones are now integral to agriculture, enhancing effectiveness and productivity. In vertical farming, crops grow in controlled environments, shaped and managed by technology. Many vertical farms utilized IoT solutions for precise monitoring and management of nutrients, irrigation, light, and water. IoT brings significant advantages by automating processes through sensors and robotics, reducing the dependence on manual labor. Additionally, it enables farmers to gather crucial data about their crops in growing conditions, which helps refine and optimize outputs. Artificial intelligence plays a crucial role in vertical farming as well. AI systems often receive data from I.O. devices to regulate food production and monitor factors like water usage, light, and temperature. Integrated with sensors, AI solutions can adjust operations in real time, detecting anomalies and making necessary adjustments to enhance conditions. However, AI's impact extends beyond just increasing production. It also delves into improving crop quality. Fifth season, a vertical farm in Pittsburgh, exemplifies this by harnessing big data and AI to craft optimally grow recipes. By leveraging AI algorithms, the company fine-tunes the flavor profiles of its plants using various combinations of lighting and nutrients. This allows them to adjust sweetness, spiciness, bitterness, texture, and more, ensuring top-quality produce. Advantages of Vertical Farming There are many benefits to farming indoors that you don't get from farming outside. Number 1. Grow reliable produce year-round. Vertical farming offers a crucial advantage by eliminating dependence on unpredictable weather. Unlike traditional farming, where extreme weather can harm crops, vertical farming ensures consistent production regardless of weather conditions. This is particularly beneficial in regions like Canada, Russia, and the northern United States, where harsh winters pose challenges to agriculture. By creating controlled environments, vertical farms maintain stable conditions year-round, allowing for reliable and programmable crop output. Additionally, vertical farming shortens harvest times and enhances yields while preserving crop quality. This method thus offers a sustainable solution to food production, unaffected by the fluctuations of weather. Number 2. Reduced Water Consumption Vertical farms are a boon for the environment due to their efficient resource usage, notably water. These innovative farms consume between 80% and 99% less water compared to traditional farms, as reported by Planet Renewed. This reduction stems from the controlled indoor environment of vertical farms, which minimizes water loss through evaporation. 
Additionally, these farms employ water recycling systems, ensuring that unused or evaporated water is reclaimed and reused within the farming process. By conserving water in this manner, vertical farms play a crucial role in environmental stewardship. Freshwater, being a finite resource, benefits from such conservation efforts, ultimately contributing to a healthier planet. Number 3. Reduced Land and Transportation Requirements Vertical farms offer a sustainable solution to agricultural challenges by utilizing less land while maintaining high crop yields compared to traditional farms. This conservation of land positively impacts the environment, as nearly 80% of global deforestation stems from agricultural practices. With the expansion of vertical farming, former agricultural lands can undergo restoration, fostering biodiversity and natural ecosystems. Additionally, vertical farming minimizes the need for extensive production transportation. Situated near urban centers, these farms enable fresh produce to reach grocery store shelves within hours cutting down greenhouse gas emissions associated with long-distance transportation. This not only reduces environmental harm, but also ensures consumers have access to fresh, locally grown produce. Number 4. High Crop Yield with Small Footprint Vertical farms revolutionize crop production by maximizing yield per acre through innovative stacking methods and controlled environments. By arranging crops vertically in trays or towers, these farms significantly increase food output within a smaller land area compared to traditional farms. In essence, the space that could host just one plant in a conventional farm can now accommodate dozens of plants. This optimized land usage ensures a higher crop yield for vertical farms. Moreover, they mitigate the risk of crop loss, a prevalent challenge faced by traditional agriculture. Unlike outdoor farms vulnerable to extreme weather, pollution, and pests, Vertical farms operate indoors, shielded from such threats. Statistics indicate that outdoor crops suffer a substantial 20 to 40 percent loss annually due to diseases, pests, and climate-related crises. Yet, with indoor farming, the absence of pests and a controlled environment act as insurance against significant crop loss. Current trends or developments Major food producers are turning to vertical farming more and more to keep fresh food coming in consistently. Big names like Nestle and IKEA are seeing the value in vertical farming and putting money into it to help with their goals for sustainability. Studies have shown that crops grown vertically can be healthier, with more nutrients and fewer pesticides left behind compared to those grown in traditional ways. Collaboration between vertical farms and tech companies has led to new ideas and better ways to grow crops vertically like smarter monitoring, more automation, and improved techniques for managing crops. This teamwork is making vertical farming even more effective at providing quality produce sustainably. Challenges or controversies High upfront costs present a big problem for many people who want to start vertical farming. Setting up the necessary infrastructure, buying technology, and doing research all require a lot of money at the beginning. But as time goes on and technology gets better, these costs should go down. Another worry is how much energy vertical farming uses and its impact on the environment. Things like special lights and systems to control the climate use up a lot of energy. However, new types of energy-efficient lights and using renewable energy sources are helping to make this better. Plus, vertical farming uses less water and fewer pesticides, which is good for the environment. Some people are worried that vertical farming will replace traditional farming and lead to job losses. To help with this, it's important to support traditional farmers by offering them training and jobs in vertical farming. This way, everyone can benefit from the change. Future Outlook Vertical farming could transform agriculture by offering a sustainable and effective way to grow food. With advancing technology, combining it with AI, robotics, and blockchain can make crop growth better, cheaper, and more efficient. Vertical farming is set to spread worldwide because it tackles major problems like climate change, growing populations, and cities expanding. It's a practical solution to ensure there's enough food for the future. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like and share the video and follow us for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.